Welcome to my YouTube channel, Tony Su Vega, your Feng Shui guru and paranormal expert. Mysteries that truly happen. True to life stories, story number 38. Amir, my eldest son. English version. I saw firstly a ghost of a young boy. In the year 1990s, I asked him who he was. He did not answer me. He is white skinned with very curly hair about three feet in height he was playing i asked him again who are you why are you here he ran away from me one time i was doing a chore in our small store he was there he was silent he was doing something as if there is re really none i did not pay attention to him again then one time i went to the house of mama singh in kapulong tondo i said to mama singh who is also an herbolaria who was that boy who is white skinned, curly hair, running around your sala? She answered, I don't know him. So I went near the boy. Are you following me? He avoided me again. Then I went home. He was there. I asked him again, Are you my son? There you are. The young boy cried as if he was about five years old. You did not recognize me as your son, Papa. No, I really don't know. My son, my son, I baptized him in the etheric realm, Amir, my eldest son, who had not taken a full form of a human. He embraced me, Papa, Papa. You are already dead, my son. You have to return to heaven. You are mostly seated there. I called on Kuan Yin Ma, and she arrived. I begged her to take care of Amir. And she took hold of Amir, going to her, to her house in the Mount of Lapis Lazuli. Thank you, Kuan Yin Ma. Then the days, months, years passed. I went to Floodway in Tai Tai to solve a mystery of a lost necklace of gold. I took with me my two children going to Tai Tai. As I arrived in the house of Portia, her older sister Madel said, Come in, Mantoni. 
Whoop. Where is your other son? Huh? They're here. There are two. No. There are three. Who, who came with you? Where is the other one? Naku, Mantoni. Your son might have fallen in Bloodway. Wait for me. I will follow him in Bloodway. He might drown there. I was astonished. My two children are with me. They're beside me and they're safe with me here. Madel turned back, returned. Nako Mantoni, there's so many already who fall in floodway. Pity on your son if he fell there. The water they stink. Very foul smelling. Madel, Madel, my son is already a ghost. It is a ghost whom you see, Amir. How does he look like? White skin? Very curly hair? About four feet in height? Chinky eyes. I lost sight of him right away. So I thought he fell in the floodway. Don't worry about it. He's already a ghost or in spirit. My two children looked at each other. They would not really thought that they have a brother who is now a ghost. So I called again on Kwan Yin Ma. She said, He requested and he was looking for you. So I brought him here. But don't you worry. I'm always here to take care of him. Thank you very, very much, Kuan Yinma.